Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine. Now, quick disclaimer, all the products and things here that I use, although they work for me, they may not work for everybody else. I'm in no way, shape, or form a professional. These are just things that I use for my skin because it works for my personal skincare needs. This is my skin routine that I do every day, sometimes twice a day. Um, some of these products I don't use all the time, but I don't want to ramble on too much. We're just going to go ahead and get right into the skincare routine. So I'm pretty impressed with how my skin has been looking lately. Just at the beginning of this year, I struggled with hyperpigmentation, discoloration, breakouts, horrible acne scars. But since using these products, my skin has cleared up tremendously. The first thing I do is I take my makeup remover by Neutrogena, and I'm sure you've seen this before. It's just your basic drugstore makeup remover that you can get from Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Target, just about anywhere. So I kind of use this differently. I use it as an oil cleanser. Yes, it says oil free, but I use it as an oil cleanser. I started doing this when one night I came home, I had on a full face of makeup and I was just so tired. I did not feel like just taking my own sweet time with a little cotton ball, taking off my makeup. So I took this and I rubbed it all over my face thinking that once I go in with a makeup wipe, it'll just make things easier. And it definitely did. And it just took everything off so nicely. So now, what I do is I just take a bunch of it, rub it into my face, clean my face, and everything else after that comes off with no problem whatsoever. Next, I go in with my exfoliating cleanser, and I call this Aha Baja because that is what they called it at the spa. This is by Skin Medica and it is meant to clean and brighten the skin and it definitely delivers on its promises. A lot of the products you'll see me using, they are meant to brighten skin because as I mentioned before, I struggle with hyperpigmentation and discoloration and I'm just trying to combat that. I take two beads of this cleanser and I rub it onto my face until I no longer feel those little grains. One thing I really like about this product is because those grains are so fine, it's really gentle on my skin and it doesn't leave me with that burning or rip sensation like I have little scratches on my face after I'm done cleaning like a lot of the more aggressive exfoliants tend to. I then go in with my spin brush and quick story, I actually got this from Five Below. I used to have one from Proactive that I really, really loved, but I dropped it on a floor and it like shattered into 20 different pieces. And by chance, when I was in Five Below, I saw this one and I'm like, you know what? It's only $5, why not? I got it and it works perfectly. After I rinse my face a little bit, I then go in with my second cleanser, and this cleanser is by Revision Skincare, and it is the Papaya Enzyme Cleanser. I really like this cleanser. It has a really soft, fresh smell. I use it all the time, so I actually need to get a refill because it's almost all gone, but it's really good for reducing the size of pores, also exfoliating your skin, and it is just really good at preventing pimples.
Now that my skin is clean and it is nice and dry, I go ahead and apply my pigment correction serum. And this is the 2.0 Latera. I think it's pronounced Latera. But this is also by Skin Medica. And it's just meant to brighten up any scars that you may have. And I use this once every two weeks. I don't use this every day. Um, and that seems to be enough for me. And what I do is I just put a few dabs on my cheeks, forehead, and chin. And I rub that into my skin. So the last product that I actually apply to my face is going to be the Skin Whitener by Dr. Fred Summit. And I started using this a while ago. And no, it's not to whiten my skin. Again, it is to combat the darkness of the scars that's on my face as well as the discolored spots that is on my face. So with this cream, it has helped me achieve an overall even tone when it comes to my skin. And it also adds a little bit of moisture after adding that brightening serum. So I really love this stuff. And of course, a skincare routine cannot be completed without a little lip moisturizer. And yes, I am using this Aquaphor diaper rash cream. I am perfectly aware that it is a diaper rash cream. But listen, it does amazing, beautiful things to my lips. And to be fair, it is for dry, chapped, and irritated skin. And it is the best for diaper rashes. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. My skincare routine. Comment down below and let me know what products to use. Do you use any of these products? Have you used any of these products? Let me know what you think about the diaper rash cream on the lip thing. I'm telling you, listen, don't judge me, okay? It works for me, so I've been doing it ever since. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I post new videos. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. That subscriber count is just keep climbing, and I'm loving that so much. I'm glad you guys are here with me, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video because it's getting kind of hot in this bathroom, and I have no clue why I still have this candle burning. All right, see you later. Bye. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me.